What is up, folks? Renaissance Man here. And we are here with apparently a 65 minute video. I hope it's not 65 minutes. Because if it is, I'm going to have to probably do this in parts. So, um, hi. I know it's been a, been a minute since you heard my voice. And I would like to say, hope you had a thanks, happy Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, some people. Some, some people don't uh, celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, for my Asian friends, my my uh, European friends and such. Thanksgiving seems like an American thing. And if you don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving, I hope you had some nice tofu. But with that out of the way, let's um let's get into it, shall we? So we have a match be between Codberry and your Kiss by Fire. I believe Cadbury's name is Leonidas. And Kiss by Fire is Jonesy Ponzi. And this seems just like a regular match. I'm not sure if this starting map is... If you hear noise, it's just me getting stuff out the way. So I can chillax and such. But yeah, I'm not sure if this starting map is um a part of any league or anything, but... Who knows? Maybe it is. If not, Park is a nice map. I don't play it that much, but it's a pretty nice map. Do you like the Do you like the farmers? I've um I've uh, seen that uh, farmers have become a big thing nowadays. You know, I, I'm I played a little bit where I haven't where I've used farmers, and it's kind of hard to get used to. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit. I'm I'm getting more and more better. I'm getting a little better with it, but. It's not. It's not. It's not easy to get used to. I'm so used to just tapping the bananas was just something I did. You know, just it's just something I did. Jones is going eco, by the way, which is different. Never seen eco. Well, I've seen mixed eco strats, but I haven't seen them on something like park. I suppose park would be a good mixed eco map to use. Um, the angles on it's just weird. Like a, a rush, like a pink rush, like Jones is doing now. You need at least two monkeys to um to defend it some maps you can get away with just one but even with two well some maps if you have two you'll shut it down immediately other maps you might need like two and some battle energy but this map you just you need two and do what uh leonidas just did and get like a not leonidas jones just did and get a chipper because this map has some weird angles attached to it so jones has laid off the eco for a little bit what was i talking about oh this map is pretty nice it's a uh, weird um I haven't farmers farmers are a new addition they are very useful because if you don't have the money you don't have to remember to tap the balloons in order to get the money you can just what is happening oh i'm sorry i don't know i think i turned my phone wrong oh, hold up hold up hold up this is so ghetto this is so ghetto this is so ghetto um no this isn't the spot yeah, I don't know what just happened there. This is more or less where it was. Uh, who knows? I might cut that out. Um. So yeah, far farmers are or new, newer to the to the place. Uh, and like I said, I like them. They're very convenient. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about getting the bananas right away. I will say, Cadbury is doing very bad on lives here. Um, but he's ahead in farming, so that's always good. Cadbury, oh, he just sold his farm. Cadbury went for a rush. Smart. Anytime, anytime somebody sells a defense, you should probably rush immediately, because that is automatically either going to make a bad in battle energy or get up the defense again. Which is just if you sell a defense just to rebuy it, that's just a waste of money. So you know, if somebody sells their defense, you should rush them immediately. Cause you you want them to waste money, you don't want them to have money. Money is money is for winners, and you don't want them to be a winner. Cadbury is being very frugal with his defense right now. He's um he only has one triple dart, while Jones, my man, kissed by fire, has a good three triple darts and a two zero chipper. So Cadbury is not only ahead in farming, but he's also technically, well. I suppose if Jones sold a bit amount of his defense, he could 
catch up in farming, but he's been rushing pretty heavy lately, especially with the eco he was doing earlier. He probably doesn't have that many funds to fiddle around with, but he did something good, which is make made Cadbury use his bell and geo round eleven. That's always a good thing when it comes to round thirteen, because round eleven, round thirteen real rushes without energy, to, is just a bitch to deal with, especially on something like this. And Jones played it smart. He knew Cadbury was about to kiss by player fire, kissed by fire. Played it smart. He knew Cadbury was gonna build a defense to defend that. So. He only sent a small rush, which is, this is all you want to do. You don't want to break the bank with a re-rush if you know their opponent's going to defend it. But he made him get up way more defense than he had before. And I think he now has, Carberry now has more defense than Jones. But Jones seems to still be kissed by, I'm sorry, I just know him by Jones. So that's why I'm, I'm going to keep calling him. Kissed by fire seems to... Uh, Still be behind the farming. I don't know how much his equal is though. I, I can't see that. I don't know how much his equal is, but he still has a farm disadvantage. I'm not sure if he has an eco disadvantage, but he has a farm disadvantage for sure. Um, he's doing a lot of good mixed rushing. He's definitely keeping the pressure on. Kiss by fire is definitely he's he's pretty seasoned. He knows what he's doing. These uh these rushes are um pretty good and he's still no life loss in it no lives nll in it so that's always great to see uh he uses balance is cabaret going for a rerush here i don't feel, I don't feel he has to i think jones is building defense when cabaret did not go for a rerush which is pretty smart if he's now ahead by a whole factory while jones still only has four farms but like i said i don't know what jones is balloon eco is that could his balloon eco could be up to like 700 by now which Given how long he's been doing the rushing, he probably 700 seems like a good number. I think it's up to like 700. And Blue Nico, when you're expecting a long game, goes a long way. I think Jones might go to a thousand and call it quits. I'm not 100% sure, but he's definitely not ahead by any stretch of the imagination in farms. He's actually way behind. Now, how, how fast he could catch up, it depends on... Well, he probably can sell that second jug he has. He probably could sell... Yeah, just sell the second jug. Or just not play it safe. You know, especially with this map. This map is um very, very unforgiving when it comes to juggernaut spots and such. Like, he might have to... He might just need that second... There it is. He sold it. Okay. But... He's still seemingly behind, but how behind is he? Okay, so Cadbury sent him a rush, see if he can make him sell. That's pretty hefty rush. He's ahead in farming, so he can do rushes like this. I doubt he'll make Jones sell his farm, though. I think Jones has enough to build up a defense. I feel like he can just sell maybe one or two darts and the 2-0 chipper. In order to defend anything with the fan club, that is. Um, did he? Can he get back his balance? Can he get back his balance? I think he might have waited too long on that. Will he get back his balance? We will see. Oh, he doesn't even need balance. He just found that pretty easily. Well, yeah. So um, that rush was defended pretty damn well, and it looks like I won't call it a waste of money, but. He did make Jones upgrade, but he only upgraded the Juggernaut, which is not a, a lot to upgrade on. And from the looks of it, oh, Cadbury going for Oh my gods. How about that? How about that? I'm assuming this ends at around 38. I don't know. Probably. It probably ends around 38. It's eight minutes in. God damn. It's eight minutes in, or ends at around 38. It's a 65 minute video. And, um,. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. What are, what are we thinking about? Can Jones defend this? Well, from what he's doing, it looks like he might have a little trouble. Two's on my guys. Three's on my guys. This is a lot. And he only has one four zero. One that I see. Yeah, he only has one four zero chipper here. Uh oh, uh, I think I think Jones might get a little overwhelmed here. He has to remember to he has to remember where his fan club is, 
And he has to remember when his fan club runs out. And he has to remember how many monkeys he has on the board. And do all that while the Zoma God slash BFB slash Moabs are blocking his view. Which is very hard, by the way. And now he's stalling. I don't, I'm not sure if he can defend this. I'm pretty sure he, he can't defend this. I'm pretty sure he can't defend this. He's not, he's not going to defend this. Huh? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe. Jones is a pretty good player. But it looks like it might overwhelm him. Maybe. He has to sell. Rebuy. Okay, that's good. Uh-oh. Oh, he might defend this. He might. He might. He just might. He's down to three juggernauts. He's He had five at the beginning. He's down to two juggernauts. He had five at the beginning. And um, he's he's got the blooms down to Moabs. He, he, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He just well might defend this. This is actually pretty good. This is pretty good on his part. He got back a third juggernaut. And let's see. I think he's got this. This is this is defended. This is very well defended. And it's over. Well done. Well done. Well done indeed. That was uh that was pretty damn good. It looks it looks shaky at a at, at a point, but I must say it was it was pretty pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Pretty good indeed. Most people would have sent the Camgo Reds at that point. That's Camgo Reds was like the signature of victory. Like when you when you send Camgo Reds, that means it's over. That means it's done ski. I don't like that. It just seems so pompous. So pompous. So pompous. Uh let me see here. I'm gonna probably do three games and then cut it off. Cause this is a very long video. This is a very long video. Okay. What time is it? It is 2.08. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Definitely gonna do three and quit. Three and quit. Maybe two and quit. Because I have stuff to do. <laughs> so what we got? We have uh, cards. And cards... Cards is a nice map. It's kind of hard. It just has... It's short... It's kind of difficult, you know, with the angles, but this this has more forgiving spots. It has more forgiving um, juggernaut spots. You can pretty much cluster a bunch of um, dart monkeys in the middle and destroy everything. If you get seven or nine or eight dart monkeys in the middle and with, them, with like two juggernauts, one or two juggernauts, not much is getting through. Add a, a chipper, yeah, you're not, you pretty much have the middle locked down. And since the Dark Monkey's range is so big, they are hitting those blooms repeatedly. Because all the blooms have to go through the middle, so. And they spend, they spend a lot of time in that general area. They they don't get out of, outside of the Dark Monkey's radius very often. Which is, you know, something you see on longer, ma longer maps. And because of that... If you cluster a bunch of two, three dark monkeys in the middle, you can you can defend pretty much anything. As long as you like put a chip at the beginning, soften it, soften it up, get a juggernaut in there to do some um, longitudinal damage. You mean like I mean like to go through everything, you know, knock everything down, and then have seven or eight dark monkeys to clean up the rest. You, you can pretty much defend a lot, save for maybe. BFBs is oh my god. I'm pretty sure like without fan club you could you could probably defend a Moab it with eight or nine dark monkeys and some chippers. You have to use energy, but you can still defend it. So we have Cadbury with the lives advantage now, which is different than from the first match, because Jones pretty much had a lot of advantage the entire time. I don't think he lost a life that match, actually. Oh, the quality just took a shit on me. There it is. Um, yeah, I don't think he lost a life. And he's going mixed eco again. This might be a reoccurring strategy of his. Is he going to Yeah, I think he's going mixed eco. Uh, yeah. He's going mixed eco. I think his that mixed eco might have helped him in defending that rush that Careberry sent on the last map. Very well possible. Because without farms, it's hard to 
get money to defend rushes. But if you have like a thousand eco that I'm pretty sure Jones had close to, every six seconds you get a thousand bucks. You can buy and rebuy all you want, and you're gonna get the money back free. You're not gonna get all the money back. You know, the amount of money it costs to buy and sell a super back is like four, five grand. So you're not gonna get all the money back immediately. But you know, if you can stall long enough, you'll get you'll you'll make good. You'll have enough money to defend. Put it that way. There's a lot of rushing going on. Okay, let's see. You. So Jones has. Kiss by Fire has boosted some whites and some some leads, and Cadbury made him use his boundary. So I think he's going to go for a, a massive, not a massive, but a pretty decent size rerush here. Jones sold some some um some of his farms. Is he going to die? No, he's not. He's good. Um, he's going to lose a lot of lives, but he's not going to die. Uh, Jones is once again down on farming, but that's that comes with the territory of mixed eco. You don't, you don't, you don't succeed in, like you don't get ahead in farming. You catch up in farming, but when you catch up, you have this back pocket of eco. So that back pocket of eco takes you a long way. While once you catch up, you basically have the advantage. Like there's no once you catch up to somebody's farming when you're doing mixed eco, there's no amount of farming that they can do to to mac to um, beat the amount of money you're getting because you get a thousand eco plus you have the same number of farms you'll always have the advantage unless that person has a thousand eco with you, but that typically doesn't happen. But the dynamics have changed this game. Jones seems to be struggling a bit more. While Cadbury seems he's he still has a, a decent amount of struggle in his game, but he's not he's not as uh scrambly. He's not scrambling as much. Cause last last time he was doing a lot of uh buying and reselling while he's he's bringing it to Jones and he, he has a lobs advantage. While Jones has bought and sold his farms repeatedly and has he has done that cluster thing I've been talking about here. He's clustered. He had to cluster a bunch of dark monkeys to defend that rush. Now I won't say he's too far behind in farming. He's actually he's actually pretty close for you know what he's been doing. He's only one farm behind, which is not good for Cadbury. He needs to be when somebody's going mixed eco. You need to be considerably ahead of him. If you're not cons like if you're only one farm behind, that's what maybe two eco boosts. I don't know where Jones is at right now. I think his eco might be at 500, maybe a little over 500, maybe 600. So, but still, that's if he buys a farm. Let's see. So this is this is really intense. Let's see. Double re rush. He's so Cadbury gets up a juggernaut. Kiss by fire. Just spams dart again. Sells his farm. I don't think Cadbury sent him a pretty big rush there. I think he teased him with that a little bit. Which is smart. You never want to... Um, well, you know somebody's going to defend it. You never want to spend too much money on a rerush. So, but what, like I was saying, Jones is um way too close to him in farming for his mixed eco strat. Like if he has 600, 700 eco right now, he only needs about two or three eco boosts, which is 18 seconds, in order to get what Cadbury has. That's 2,100. Well, maybe four or five. If he has 700. Like I said, I don't know what, what his eco is right now. But if he has 700, like four or five. Let's see, that's three to buy the farm and get the one zero upgrade. And that's an extra two to get the two zero to get the second upgrade. And... He's even in farming. And he just bought a... F oh, the, now I know he has a lot of money. He just bought a fan club. He only sold one farm. Oh, he sold his juggernaut too. Well, he still has... The, he, I know he definitely has... Yeah, like he has enough money to get a factory right now. And this is not good for... Cad oh, wait. I just I just realized Cadbury has 600 eco. So that's pretty pretty decent. Him having 600 eco kind of counterbalances Jones's eco boost he has right now 
So this, um, somebody's disconnected. Uh oh, spaghettios. So this is a, uh, this is actually, this is actually um, going back into Cadbury's favor. He's checking his internet, making sure he has the Wi-Fi and such. Hopefully Jones comes back, and he came back. Okay. Um, I, I was thinking he's gonna come back. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. He would have redid the video if he didn't come back. There's no point of putting it in the video. Oh, this is a really good game. So yeah, Jones didn't even have to sell his farm to get there. So his eco must be really good if he didn't have to sell his farm in order to uh, defend that rush he, he was sent. And now he has a lot of dark monkeys in the middle. And I imagine he's going to cluster the hell out of that. But I also imagine that he has enough money to get up a, another fan club. So Cadbury... Rerushing here is just gonna okay. He's doing the whites. I mean the zebras. So he's not he's not too committed to this rerush. He's just trying to make him spend money, which is good. You always want to make somebody spend money. Always want to make somebody spend money. Like I said, money is for winners, and you don't want them to win. It's, oh my goodness! I thought he had nine thousand dollars for that creep. I was about to say, what is this? Like at, for a moment, like I said, nine thousand dollars. I was about to be very upset. Like, what is this hack? What is the hackery here? The hackery is strong with this one. What are we thinking about? We're thinking that this game is pretty close in terms of farming. In terms of lives, Cadbury has the obvious advantage. I don't understand why he's trying to. I, I know he's trying to kill him, but he should know that, like, Jones has enough money to get the um, fan club without selling anything. So any rush he's going to send him is not going to get past his fan club. Why did he use Boundary right there? Why did they both use Boundary right there? What is this new strategy that I'm missing? So, yeah, um, anything that, jo that he sends Jones is just going to get met with a fan club, and... The fact is, Jones has kissed by fire, has enough money to afford a fan club. Without, he has two 4 2 farms and enough money to afford a fan club without selling anything. So he's. Is this. That's mine, right? That is mine. I, I'm, I'm, I was very confused on what the time was because I thought it might have been his, but it's actually mine. Okay. So yeah, kissed by fire. Oh, now he's going for the rush. I wonder what he's going for a singles oh my god. I'm pretty sure he's got more than one singles oh my god, but he's going for a singles oh my god. He now he has given up his eco. That's important to note. He has given up his eco. He does not have whatever eco he had anymore. He now has zero eco probably because I doubt he had fifteen hundred or more than fifteen hundred. Um so now he has zero eco and Cadbury's kind of if he plays, if he doesn't mess up, he's going to defend this Moab pretty, this uh, rush pretty easily. And good thing that that uh, okay, so now he's sending the seconds. Oh my god! So he's probably going to send him constants. Oh my god! Which at this point probably isn't the best because Cadbury has enough to defend a good amount of oh my god. It's like if unless he doubles up the oh my god. So if he were to sell his oh my god and then send, then it would probably work but Cadbury has enough money to pretty much defend ones oh my god pretty easily he has two fan clubs he has one oh my god at a time that is pretty easily he has two fan clubs he has one four two whatever the hell that is called he has um five juggernauts four juggernauts oh 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 that was close the force is strong with this one so, I think Cadbury can just coast for the rest of the match here. Because he doesn't really need to, um... So now he has to... Note, he has the infinite fan club. The infinite fan club, meaning he has three fan clubs that he can... Oh, it's round 32. It is round 32. I hope he doesn't... Okay, good. Round 32 is a biash. It is a biash. And Cadbury is now about to get... The Supervac. Supervac. Don't die. Alright, good. Alright. 
Cadbury, if he plays his cards right, he can he can survive to around um what round to round thirty eight if it ends around thirty. I don't know what they, what round it ends on, but he can survive to that round. And he just needs to. He still has a thousand eco, by the way. Just remember that. So he he can get his money back pretty quickly. He still has a thousand eco. He can get his money back pretty quickly. He has now two for two chippers. So he can pop the Zoma Gods twice as fast. Um, he has, still has his infinite fan club, I think. And now he still has five juggernauts. This is looking very good for Cadbury. Like I said, I don't know when it ends, but it's looking very good for him. Um, I'm not sure if I can finish this game before I have to go. I can see why this was an hour, though. I can definitely see why it was an hour. Uh, this is uh, this is intense. This is intense. This is in pitching tense. This is intense, intense. But yeah, unless Cadbury messes up here. Also, remember, those oh my guys have got gotten stronger, so it's taking a longer time to pop them. Oh, okay. oh wait, this might be this might be bad. This might be really bad. This might be really bad. Cause them BFBs. Oh, Jones. No, Jones has uh sold both his farms, and now he's just stolen. I think if Cadbury would have sent him something, uh, now he just Cadbury should just stall right here. He should just he should just sell everything and stall. Just sell everything and stall. Because that's what Jones is doing. He's stalling. So everything in stall. So he's not going to stall. Just stall. Just keep stalling. Because uh, Jones will run out of money eventually. And he's dead. Is he dead? He's not dead yet. He, But Cadbury, you have this game. Just keep stalling. Keep stalling. Keep stalling. Because Jones, this is this is pretty intense. Not going to lie. And Jones should be done? No. No, this is good. Keep stalling. I'm telling you, Cadbury, if you keep stalling, you will win this game. Do not... Do not slip at the finger. Just keep stalling. Stalling and it's over. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, to be continued.